Tonight we're joined by head coach Nate Oates, our graduate player Vita Bolton, sophomore Tyler Lewis Jr. We'll have coach make an opening statement and we'll take questions for the players first. So I'll go ahead and turn it over to coach. I mean, first I'd like to thank the crowd. I thought the student section was great. It almost 2,000 students, so that's what we're trying to build. I think, you know, I thought they helped us make the comeback in the second half with their energy. I thought that the noise was great. So, obviously, we'd have liked to get the win, and that, that helps them to keep keep coming back. But I think our guys played hard for the most part. You know, we got a, a lot of mistakes to fix. But like I told our guys, we're, we're not supposed to be playing our best basketball on November 5th. We need to be playing our best basketball come February, March, you know, in SEC games. So, we got a lot to fix. We, we get back and fix it. Sometimes if you win, you know, if that goaltending call gets called the other way and we win the game or a couple free throws going at the end, we win. Sometimes all, all those mistakes we made all game, guys think that they're okay getting away with it. So sometimes you need to take a loss and taking a loss early isn't always the worst as long as you guys are resilient enough to come back. I thought our guys' attitudes were good in the locker room. I, I think we're going to come back, have a great week of practice. and fix a lot of the stuff that we need to get fixed by, by next Monday. Kyra, Kyra back here. Can you just walk us through those last really 20, 25 seconds? You hit the emotional three-pointer and then get fouled on the other end. Just what, what went through your head and what happened there? Uh, are you talking about the minute or are you talking about the free throws? Both. Just the sequence. Um, you know, I think JP had shot a three. Um, G had got a tip in, came out to me. You know, we preach about daggers. When we get offensive rebounds, kick out for a three. So I just shot it with confidence and made it. Um, they came back. Uh, Beetle played great defense, I thought. He made a tough two. Um, coach drew up a play, set two ball screens. Um, I seen a gap, tried to split it, got fouled. Went to the free throw line. Um, Shot them with confidence, I thought, and they just didn't go in. Uh, two questions for Beetle. First, uh, you wore that undershirt that had the, the padding on the sides. Is that something to protect the uh, injured shoulder? Uh, something like that. And uh, second, you showed a lot of hustle out there. You, you like to play to the student section. Um, is that a part of your game, just feeding off the crowd, and, and how does that impact you when you're on the floor? Uh, yeah, I, f I feed off the crowd a lot. Uh, they bring a lot of energy. Uh, the, the fans did a great job tonight. Uh, we fed off of them at the end. I think well, when they got loud for us, uh, it, it made us feel like we had a lot of energy out there on the court, even though my, a few dudes might have been tired at the time. But we dug down uh, and fought, fought our way back. And I think me and my, my guys showed some resiliency. For both guys, uh, it, it was a struggle. It seemed like most of the game offensively, you guys still get in the 80s. But what did they do to kind of affect you guys offensively on the defensive end? Uh, I think uh, it was it was on our part. They didn't do nothing crazy to to pressure us or or make us lose the ball. We just made some mental errors where we would drive into gaps and lose the ball sometimes and we just throw it away sometimes uh and that's just mentally and that's just part of the game uh like bill said you know i didn't think they did nothing too crazy um turnovers at the beginning of the game um i had like four in the first half um i had to say you know some open shots just didn't drop you know that we probably we gonna make at the later in the season so i just think we can go back and make fix those mistakes later on in the season. Two more questions for student athletes. We'll start all the way in the back. Right? Kyra, tough way to, to finish your first game of the season, but it's it's November fifth. It's early, just you know, mindset wise, where are you going from here? Um, you know, it's tough to lose like that, but you just gotta keep moving forward. Uh after after this, um I'm gonna have to go shoot some free throws because I just can't live with not making free throws at the end of the game. Um, I feel like this will be a good learning lesson for us. And later on in the season, you'll see a team that's been experienced in this situation. So it's really a lot of basketball to go. Any other questions for either student athletes? Okay, you guys will be good. Appreciate it. questions for uh, Coach Oates. Start with uh, Coach Grill. 
I've got two. First, what's Herb's status? What yeah, he hyperextended his elbow, getting an MRI tomorrow morning, day to day, based on what we find in the MRI. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully it comes back with nothing major and he can get back at it. I mean, Clark's pretty good. Our medical staff's, I think, the best in the country here. So, uh, you know, if he can play on Monday, he'll be playing. But uh, we won't know anything until we get the MRI tomorrow morning. Okay. And uh, with him out and, and – you know, they're good around the basket. It was hard for you to get stops. And when you don't get stops, how did that affect you offensively? Because yeah, you seem to be running a lot of half court. No, it really stops. affects us because, you know, like we're, we're so much better in transition. And when you're pulling the ball out of the net, it's a lot harder to get out in transition. So, I, I just, you know, we kept telling them. Again, we, you know, if you look, we're playing Forbes 18 minutes. He's a freshman. And Shaq played 30 minutes. That's 48 minutes split among two uh, freshmen that's it's a lot of minutes for freshmen their first game I, you know that there's some defensive and it's not all them we had defensive breakdowns from everybody but our defense and the other thing is this team's a veteran team that's played together a lot it's the first game we don't have any film on them they, they, you know this is just hard with the scouting report and everything and our guys we didn't make good enough adjustments as a coaching staff I didn't think you know they got us on a couple Layups where they're curling the high post, uh, you know, we needed to adjust sooner on that. And some of this is on us. Some of it, we just, we just got to get better. I mean, we, we, we've we way too many defensive breakdowns, like you said, and then we couldn't get out in transition on offense like we like to do. You spoke in the preseason about consistency from outside. Obviously, you know, you talked about some of the freshmen. It seemed like, uh, you know, even Jaden uh, had some – Inconsistent, you know, streaks there. Just what do you see from the outside perimeter shooting, and where can you improve? Yeah, you know, I think what do we shoot? Twenty and twenty-nine percent from three this game. It's not ideal. It's not the worst, but you know, if we shot seventeen to thirty-seven, you know, we got thirty-eight of them up. If we go seventeen to thirty-eight, we win the game by large margin. So I told them we can't. You know, we had plenty of mistakes against Georgia Tech. We had seventeen turnovers. We missed a bunch at the rim. We can't rely on going 17 to 37 every game from three and blowing people out like that. And guess what? Tonight we got 38 up and we only made 11. So I didn't think, I didn't think too many of them were bad shots, to be honest with you. I just thought we missed them. And some of that, you know, it helped to have a little bit more depth. When Herb went out, we're down to eight. And really we kind of had a three-man rotation at the five spot because they, they, they play four guards and we didn't have a very good matchup for Reese at the four. So we ended up JVing and – Kalen and Reese kind of split all the minutes of the five, which left, you know, not not a whole lot of rotation there at the guard spot. Kyle and Kyra came out in the second half. Petty probably played, we probably played too many guys too many minutes there in the second half, which affects your jump shooting sometimes. Maybe, maybe affects Kyra's free throws late because I didn't pull him out and give him a rest. I mean, you know, I just didn't see a time when, when I could give him a rest. We needed him out there. He scored 30. So... Would definitely would help if you know if we get Quinterly cleared, give us a little bit more depth in the backcourt, keep guys a little more fresh. But we, 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 there was plenty of stuff we did out there that we, we should have won this game without Quinterly, without Herb, with whatever's going on. We should have definitely won the game, though. Kyra was noticeably upset after the game. What did you say to him after those missed free throws to kind of keep his spirits? Yeah, up? he was. Uh, I mean, he's blaming himself. He's you know as a 18 year old kid. I mean, people forget he's supposed to be a freshman this year. He's supposed to be a senior in high school last year. I, I you know, I pulled him up off the ground. I made him look me in the eye and, like, we didn't lose the game because you missed two free throws. Like, we lost the game because there's a million other things we didn't do well and we put you in a bad spot. And I also told him, it's part of it's my fault. I played him 20 straight minutes. I didn't take him out. I, I should have found a way to get him off. 30 second rest at the end before media, 30 second after media. I, I kind of screwed some of that up. I should have gave him a little more rest. Maybe if I get him a minute break, two minute break in the second half, he's got enough legs under him to hit the free throws. So I took my part of it with him. And, you know, he just said he's got to make them, which that's good. He, he took ownership of it. I, I guarantee you he's going to be in the gym shooting a few hundred free throws every night. That's the other thing I told him. Sometimes we need some adversity in, in life. Like, if they go in, you know, maybe we, we got a we got a lot of stuff to fix. If he makes those two free throws, all everybody thinks all of a sudden their their mistakes aren't that big of mistakes because we won the game. What are we worried about? Like now, you lose the game, those mistakes 
when you lose by one point, every single mistake you make all game is a big deal. So now when we come in and watch the video and a guy doesn't sprint back on D and we give up a layup, that, that's the game, not the two free throws. Obviously, if he hits two free throws, we win. But, you know, that along with a million other things. So when you point out every single possession that we didn't do what we're supposed to do, every one of those wins the game. So I, should I have a similar situation? I only played Division three basketball, but I – I missed two free throws at the end of a game my junior year. We were up. Coach put me in. I sat. Coach puts me in because I made free throws. I go over two, and we, we they come down, score, and win the game. And we lose the game. Like I, I didn't have this many people in the stands in a Division three game. It was more like a thousand, maybe less than that. But I mean, he did it in front of all these people. Like, it's a terrible feeling. You feel like you let your whole team down. But our guys were really good. Petty was in there saying all the right stuff. Like that, that's where you find out who your leaders are, how they come together. I don't think anybody's going to walk out of that locker room and blame Kyra for the loss Like after the way he played the rest of the game. Coach, uh, could you update us on the status of the uh, proposed conference call, uh, the overall appeals process, and where things stand tonight with Javon? Yeah, I, we've got a um, – Conference call scheduled before the next game. I think you're supposed to get a uh, answer fairly quickly after the conference call. Other than that, so I, my guess is we'll know. I think we'll know by Monday late afternoon, basically just in time for the game, whether he's cleared to play or not. If he plays, it's great. We could certainly use him out there. He's really good. If they don't give it to us, I'll be really disappointed. But you know, control. We told our guys like control what you can control, like. We, we can't control what the appeals committee decides. Like, we can't control what the referees do tonight. We can't, like, let's control what we can control. I thought maybe myself, the players, all of us got a little bit, you know, worked out about some stuff maybe we couldn't control tonight. And we were going to do the same thing with, with, with Quinterly. Hopefully we're going to do our, – our legal team and compliance office, I think, is the best in the country after dealing with them on – you know, issues that we've had. We've got all the resources in the world, and we've put all the resources we can into getting him eligible, and we're going to do everything we can to get him eligible, and hopefully they give us a favorable ruling. It is scheduled already. I uh, believe it's ne uh, next Monday, I believe. I, I got to double check on that, but they, they let me know today that we do have it scheduled, and we, will, we should have an answer by, by game time next Monday. Coach, uh, uh, tell us what happened during the what you saw during the goaltending call. I know you were very uh, adamant with the official. Uh, it looked like a, a good tip, but I just wanted to see what you what you thought. And then also, what did they do offensively uh, to give you guys so much trouble? I, so offensively, they Broder is really good for one. We couldn't get him off the floor. I mean, if you look, he played 36 minutes. At our bigs. You know, if you look, Galen had four fouls. Javian had three fouls. They played 27 minutes between them. Reese had two fouls. So we got nine fouls. And about the same time that he played, had four fouls. Like, they they kept him on the floor, which is a good thing. And then he just, I mean, they played through him a lot. And then the, the, the other thing that hurt us a little bit was they, they got all the actions going around. They just – we call them sneak drive. Like they just blew by us while they had actions. I mean, we got multiple blow bys in the second half. Guys just got to guard their matchup, and we couldn't find a matchup for some of our guards out there. To be honest with you, I mean, which is which is an issue. I mean, we if you can't stay in front of your guy because they got shooters. What they put Broder out there, and then they spaced the floor with four shooters. So if you want to help on every time you get beat on a blow by, you're going to give up three. You know, and if you come off Rodeur too much, they get back to him, and he makes all the right reads. I mean, they're a veteran group that knows how to play, and Coach Donahue does a really good job, and they're a well-coached team. So, offensively, you know, and, and I think we're we're a heavy scout team. Not having film on their current team to play, like, just hurts you with the scout. We, we had a lot of it down, but there were some different wrinkles they ran this year that we didn't the, – the curl off the high post from Brodeur at the ball, we – Probably should have gone under that a lot sooner than we did. We kept chasing over the top to try to chase them off the three-point line because they three-point shooter. I mean, you know, if they look, I mean, we shot a lot of threes. They shot 26. They shot a lot in the first half. We got them off the line a little bit in the second half, but the part of that is we gave up too many blow-bys. So didn't do it with the goaltending call. 
I mean, you guys, I, I don't know how many different angles they showed you out there. We looked back in the back, three different angles. You can put a ruler up there from the cylinder. It looked to me like the ball was outside of it. So, you know, if they change the rules, you can review it. So I'm not quite sure what they saw in the review. That What I saw was <laughs> it came out. So you'll have to, I, you know, they're, they're, we, coaches get up here and we got to answer it all, you guys. They, they just get to go home. So I, they, you probably won't get an answer as to why, why they waved it off. I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you, because it looked good to me. But, you know, we're going to control what we can control. And they just, you spoke last week about um, Jaden maybe finding a role in that six man. You started him tonight in the beginning. Were you trying to find something? From him, you, you hoping that maybe he's starting him. Well, the the biggest reason Jaden started tonight was Reese and uh, Beetle haven't practiced the last four days. Like Reese's hip banged up, Beetle had a wrist injury, and they so again like Reese wasn't great early, and he's getting warmed up. Then I think he he showed some resolve, which I was really proud to see. I mean, he came in and, and wasn't going to let us lose the game. Thought he did a pretty good job on Brodeur down there. Got got some offensive rebounds, played hard, blew by, got the dunk, kind of got the crowd going. Like I liked what we saw out of him at the end of the game. Just you know, he wasn't he didn't practice. So if you don't practice for four days going in the game, we like guys that are really in tune with the scout report. And and they they did as much as they could mentally, but it's not the same as getting real reps. So that that's why you know, and Shaq's great. I think Shaq's gonna have an unbelievable career here. This wasn't wasn't one of his better games. I mean he. Got plenty of shots up and just didn't shoot as well as we typical him shooting in practice or even in the uh, exhibition game. So, you know, I, my, my guess would be he might be in the practice gym getting shots up right now, knowing him. I, my guess, Kyra's probably shooting free throws and Shaq's probably getting some threes up. That would be my guess. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.